Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Ty. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, some more. Good morning, Bram. Good morning. Hey, Diva Deb. I trust everyone had a wonderful night of rest. That you had sweet sleep. And we are ready to attack this day. Amen. That we're ready to attack this day. The sun is coming up. If you can see that through my um, blinds, the sun is coming up. So, yeah, God, it's good. New day, new month. And it is the best month ever, right? Good morning, Maya. Good morning, Cherie. Good morning, good morning. Thank you all for joining me this morning. You can take this time to swipe to, to the left or swipe to the right or swipe up and share this with others. Um, I thank you for joining me every morning between 7.30 and 8 a.m. If you miss it or the replay, feel free to check out my good morning, my YouTube channel, and it is SheetaBoo930, S-H-E-E-T-A-B-O-O-930 on YouTube. So let's get started. <clears throat> Today we are Romans. We are in Romans. Okay, no problem, babe. No problem. No problem. I definitely will not take it personal. <laughs> um, we're in Proverbs, the 14th chapter, starting at the first verse. Him that is weak in the faith receive thee, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. All right, so it's not, it's, okay, I was wondering if it was me, because I'm on my Wi-Fi. Let him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or fall. Yea, he shall be holding up. For God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not a day to the to the Lord he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth unto himself, and no man dieth unto himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we therefore live, therefore die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother, and why dost thou set in naught of thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, those are the first 10 verses of Romans 14. And it was a lot of this, thou's, and that's, and uh, talking about eating, not eating, celebrating a day, and not celebrating a day. So let's talk about this. Um, it says, he that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubt for disputations. You know, sometimes, um, because especially if you, I ain't gonna say especially, when you have been saved, sometimes it's hard to see why people do the things that they do. Um, new saints, and you can see them, um, falling. Yes, you can see sometimes people set them up for failure. And it's not for us to doubt the, their salvation or doubt their sincerity with the Lord. But it is for us to continue to receive them in. You know, yesterday we talked about bearing up the, the infirmities of the weak. So we are to bear them up and to receive them without dis doubtful disputations. No need for us to have an argument. No need for us to have a debate, uh, you know, about whatever. Because um, if I believe that I can eat pork and you believe that you shouldn't eat pork, I do what I do unto the Lord. You do what you do unto the Lord. There's no reason to have a dispute or a schism or a division because of it. Uh, if you worship on Saturday and I worship on Sunday, if we're doing it unto the Lord, it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter. 
if you are celebrating on one day and somebody else celebrate another day, if you're doing it unto the Lord, it doesn't matter. This is basically what this is saying. It's saying if you were seen one day above another, if you, I love to celebrate birthdays. That's why September is my favorite month. I, I believe in celebrating birthdays. I don't care if you take you all month to celebrate it or whatever. I, just, I love birthdays. And there's some people that don't believe in celebrating birthdays. They're thankful to be alive another year and they keep it pushing to each his own. But it says, he that regardeth that day and regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not that day to the Lord, he does not regard it. If you eat one thing and you do it unto the Lord, or you decide not to eat one thing, and it says, both of them are giving thanks. So what difference does it make? And then it tells us, it doesn't matter. You don't live for yourself. And you don't die for yourself. Um, the uh, We are created to live for the Lord. As Christians, our our lives are not our own. You know, uh, when me not sing a song, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. You know, sometimes we don't, uh, we sing, a, somebody said, you sing a lot as well as tell one. Have you really given yourself unto the Lord? And if you believe that you've given yourself to the Lord and someone else has given themselves to the Lord, it shouldn't be a dispute. If you don't believe in going to the movies, and I like going to the movies, it shouldn't be a dispute. I mean, it, as long as I'm not seeing things that should not be seen, and even if that is the case, back to the, yeah, the other devotion, you should be bearing the infirmities of me because I'm weak. So, you know, the word of God is right. The lady kept saying it the other night. She said, the word of God is sure, and it is right. And then it says, to, to that end, regardless of which way you do, it says Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be the Lord of the dead and the living. So what you, whatever you find yourself doing, if you believe it's acceptable unto the Lord, you believe it's acceptable to the Lord. And just know the Lord is watching, that the Lord is judging. You know, what, what Maya may think, don't really matter what Patrick may think may not really matter but what God thinks what what Jesus sees what he thinks that's what really matters and in verse 10 says why is it that you judge your brother why is it that you set a knot of that brother for you shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ it doesn't matter if you've been in this as we say in the way in this way if you have been saved for 20 years 10 years or two days or two hours we're all or not saved at all we're all going to be judged we're all going to stand before a holy god and give an account of the deeds done in our body there's no way around it so why would i spend my time fighting patrick why would i spend my time fighting maya why would i spend my time uh, arguing about inconsequential things well i believe you should pray at five that, well, um, no, you should be praying at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock is the best hour to pray. That's some foolishness. It's foolishness. You know, well, I should. you should read the NIV. Don't fool with the King James Version. That's foolishness. It's a way of the enemy to get you distracted from the things that you should be doing. Because it says right here that you have liberty. These are principles. Of, it's principles of Christian liberty. That you would do it unto the Lord. Yes, pray without ceasing. You know, some people uh, think that you should have a, a different, you know, when you, uh, if you decide to meditate and, and have a special prayer time. It needs to be in the morning. It needs to be at night. You know what? Whatever the Lord puts on your heart. How about that? Um, whether you pray in your car while you commute it. You know, whether you are, are saying a prayer throughout the day. I'm not to judge how you pray, when you pray, what you should pray, how long you should pray. That's not my business, but you are to do it unto the Lord. So I thank you all for joining me this morning. Um, right, just pray. How about that? <laughs> you ought to pray. Pray, we pray. You remember the MC Hammer song? Um, I got some energy on this morning, y'all. But I thank you all for joining me because I have to get out of here quick again today. But you know, the word of God is right. And the word of God is powerful. And it is quick and it will... Uh, have uh put something in your heart and your mind keep it in your heart that you won't sin against the lord and the holy ghost will bring it back to your remembrance at the time that you need so it's good to know the word of god thank you all for joining me on this tuesday morning i'm gonna say monday tuesday morning september the first of 2015 a day that we've never seen before and we won't see it again uh we thank i thank you for joining me thank you for listening for sharing 
for watching on here or whether it's on YouTube. Thank you for all your hearts, your likes, your shares. Um, continue to share because it's not about me, it's about the Word of God. If you notice, that's why I try to keep the camera focused on the Word. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you uh, that um, the focus is on the Word, it's not on me. I do my own stuff later, but this is about the Word of God. The Word of God is powerful and it is important. Um, I ask you all to continue to pray for me as I pray for you. I pray that he'll cover you in the blood on today, that you'll be protected from all hurt, harm, and danger, that the Lord will give you clarity of thought, that he will give you a clear mind on today, that you'll make the best decisions ever on today, that you will have uh, blessings as you go to and fro, that the Lord will bless the path of your feet, that the Lord will bless the work of your hands, that he will guide the words out of your mouth on today, that you won't say anything, do anything, or be anywhere that it brings shame to the name of the Lord and you requested a song and I can't think of a song um Lord have mercy hey Kim I saw you pop up here how you doing today what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty God we serve. Welcome, Lisa. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve a mighty God. A mighty God. A mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you all for the hearts. Thank you all for joining me. Remember, if you missed the beginning, go back and watch the replay. And you can always find me on YouTube at SheetaBoo930. That's S H E E T A B O O 930. I appreciate all the hearts and the love and the support. I appreciate you for watching and sharing and joining me. Share your morning with me every day. You all be blessed, and I'll see you all again tomorrow between the 7.30 and 8 a.m. hour Eastern Standard Time. Have a blessed day. Thank you. I shall. I shall. Thank you.